morning, everyone. I'm Yadira Nova Salcedo. So glad to have you with us. A brand new book features 21 stories of strong women from around the globe who survived domestic violence. Today on Central, we want to tell you about hashtag She Wins. With us this morning, our book author, Alisa Devine and Laverne Gordon, president of the Love Life Now Foundation, whose story is featured on this book. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Wow. <laughs> hashtag She Wins. Yeah. Yeah. What a wonderful title. Thank what you. made you want to write this, Elisa? Well, I knew that um, it started as a personal journey for me, and I wanted to be able to work with other women who experienced abuse. And I, as I started walking on that path, yes. the steps became more clear to me that it was going to be a book. And with my background in photography, I knew that I wanted to also capture pictures of the women and I really wanted to provide a platform for yes. them to turn their pain into power. And capture you did. You, these are wonderful. We're looking at some of the pictures right now of some of these 21 women, strong women, obviously, who have survived, you know, I mean, a situation of domestic violence. And I want you to talk to me really quickly about yourself. You yourself are a survivor. Talk to us about your story. Yes, um, it, it, I was in a relationship for um, 18 years mm -hmm. and uh, I got to a point where I knew that I wanted to experience something that was greater than the pain that I felt. And so that's why I started looking for women who wanted to tell their stories and I really wanted to create something larger than what I went through because then maybe that way it would seem that it would have been worth it. Yes. And I could help other people to empower them and to also encourage yes. others to turn their pain into power and overcome the circumstances that they were in. This is wonderful. Um, it's amazing, the photography. Obviously, you're a professional uh, in the field, so obviously it just looks beautiful, the images. Laverne. Yeah. You're chapter three. Yes, <laughs> I am chapter three in the book, yeah. Tell us, how did you feel when Elisa said to you, I want you to be part of my book? Well, first of all, honored to be amongst the other survivors that have the courage to come out and tell their truth and speak their truth via these words in uh, Elisa's book and these images that you talk about. Yes. I mean, it's one thing. So I've been telling my story now for quite some time, and I have no shame in it. But for a lot of women in these books, in the book it's their first time it's their coming out of sorts right yes. um, and so to be amongst them and to be part of this whole network of women that is not just within the book but it has grown into this big conglomerate of survivors that you know encourage each other and encourage others that haven't come out yet to yes. to, to speak their truth which is what this book is going to do um, is just phenomenal in itself so I'm just honored um, that she approached me and you know the fact that you know it's it's not just Massachusetts based it mm -hmm. is world really it's based global. Right? You went around the globe obviously finding different women representing different areas so that you can see this is, this is a big issue and it affects it doesn't have race it doesn't have it's just it Correct. Affects, right? right so when people get your book what do you want people to get out of it Elisa I want them to understand for one the the signs and the symptoms of what it looks like and feels like and what can happen behind closed doors. I also want other people to be able to be encouraged to speak about their experiences and not feel the shame. And um, for me personally, that was a lot um, of what I experienced around it. Yes. So I want others to be able to uh, be able to reach out and get the help that they need mm -hmm. yeah. to overcome. Yeah, and I mean, in that sense as well, right? So if people are reading these stories and seeing these photographs, this sort of before and now after, yes, right? What these what what purpose looks really, like? These empowered women look like. great. Yeah, yes. they're yes. The, to, to 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 see their story, my story of isolation, my story of escaping, their stories of gun violence, their stories of surviving that. If they can see themselves mm -hmm. in us 
yes. then that's more than half the battle because too often people think I am alone. I'm the only one experiencing this and that is so far from the truth. One in every four women will experience this in their lifetime mm -hmm. and they're not speaking up. So to be able to see themselves in these stories and know that, you know, across the board, though our circumstances are different, the, the signs are all the same and the outcome of you being empowered afterwards is no different from anybody else. So I think it's a wonderful book and I know that you're working on something else for the summertime. Yeah, You'll yeah. come back to talk to us about that uh, very to. soon. Yeah. We can talk about that as well. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming by and telling us about it. This is this is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To get yourself a copy of this brand new book, Hashtag She Wins, you can get a direct link to their website and their social media media pages visiting us online at cbsboston.com slash centro there you can get more information on today's show and our past shows you can watch both the english and the spanish versions of centro and we also want to invite you to connect with us on social media that's on facebook twitter and instagram and that will do it for this week's centro i'm yadira Nova salcedo inviting you to step forward to a better you see you next week